car has already started. We're gonna get in and we're gonna go to all the way to Charleston. Woohoo! Hello, you beautiful bastards. How are we doing? Welcome to today's video. We have a lot to talk about. Um, but I guess you're gonna kind of see me talk about this stuff kind of in a different perspective than uh, I guess another youtuber would talk about it I'm more of an optimistic realistic type of mix of a person. Uh, I'm not really one-sided optimistic or one-sided realistic I'm gonna go pick up a uh, motorcycle tank from a buddy uh, or a sub that wants it hydro dip So we're gonna go do that. He's out in Charleston. So please excuse me while I drive out there That guy look lonely? Yeah, he does. He looks lonely. I'd say he looks lonely. Oh, it get really awkward if this is not who I'm meeting and it's some biker dude and decides he's gonna kick my ass. Oh, I think it is. All right, here we go. We're gambling here. You're either gonna kick my ass or I'm meeting you here. <laughs> well, I'm here for a mate. What's going on, man? How nice to meet you. I noticed you from uh, Twitter a bunch. You always tweet on yeah. stuff. Oh, from your your email picture, I noticed it. Same as your Twitter. Yeah, it's um, really all I tweet on there now is whenever I go live on Twitch. Yeah, let me check it out, man. Oh man, what kind of bike is this? It's a Harley. It's a Harley, but. 2007. Oh lord. It's the VRS CAW. We're doing the tank, yeah. I think about is the gas tank's under here. Oh wait, what? Yeah, where it's a drag bike, they put it there for low center of gravity. Hold up, that's just a cover? It's just a cover. What? Holy shit, I never knew that. It's got the Ram Air intake. When you told me you were gonna meet me here on the bike, I was like, man, like, I was like, is he like a ride, like a reserve tank on it? Or what's it, what's it, what's happening? Dude, yeah. that is bizarre. Those aftermarket pipes? They are. I'm not sure the brand, the guy that had it before things, me put man. those on. Probably had them custom fitted or something. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's no branding on them. Yeah? We should start her up. Uh, right here, man. Oh my God. You ain't kidding. Blue all up under it. Let's see, it's got, got the wireless control. Did you do it? Did you? Oh my god, that's cool. Check it out, guys. You can kind of see it right there. That was the first thing right I did there. when I got the bike. Dude, I didn't even see those until you turned those on. That's pretty clean. Did you do that? Did you do it yourself? Nice. My brother broke it down in my driveway. And you got it on a controller? What? Yep. It's got uh, three settings. You can, with the first setting, you can change the brightness level. Oh, that's awesome. Second setting, you can have it flat. Oh god. I usually got that on whenever I go to bike shows. <laughs> yeah. And have the fade nice man oh, okay so it's like a heartbeat type of or it's exactly. like a that's a so sick effect. yeah yeah there you go there you go i was thinking about because i knew it because the uh like computers have the same like yeah, you know, rgb shit so you got the same thing on the other side yep that's same sick you said really it's an 07 yeah it's an 07 same year as nessie same year as nessie 07s are the thing man that's what uh my supermoto was an 07 too i don't know what it is with me in 07 there's something about it what's going on man how you doing Big man, man. i appreciate it Look at that, we get spotted out here when we're meeting you. How about it? Oh, I got one of these too. Actually, uh, I think I already told you guys this, but if I haven't, we are hydrodipping this part of his his uh, Harley. Now, these emblems 
I can take these off and I'll probably just give them to you to put back on okay. wherever you want to put it on so you can take your time and place it. I'm guessing it's just a... Yeah, they're just... They stay. Yeah, it's just three, like 3M or whatever. Yeah, because I'll take that off and this whole thing is sanding. Uh, do you want to keep this sticker down here? Because I'll probably have to if, paint over that. If you want to take it off, take it off. That's, okay, cool. that's fine. Sweet. So I can just sand the dick out of this thing. Next hydro dipping video, this is this is like going to be the main focus of that video. So when you guys see it, it's going to be pretty sick. And you guys, this is cool. This is like a... It's like a perspective that I can't the only perspective I can show you guys when I dip is stuff being put on my lotus but now I can see the see this and then we can see putting it back on too because I'll meet back up with you and we'll all right guys I'm home uh, just showing you a couple things uh, that I've dipped here in the last couple of days did a ps4 controller in the oil spill got a red carbon fiber xbox thing oh yeah and then I did my engine covers I don't know if you guys have seen this I posted on Instagram page uh, these are the engine covers to my lotus uh, they're in blue sapphire carbon boom right there that's what we're doing. And then uh, we got his tank here. That's exactly what we're doing. This tank in is blue sapphire carbon. Um, it's going to be amazing. I say blue sapphire carbon and that's like, that's like double blue. Everyone knows sapphire is blue, so I'm not sure why I've said sapphire blue carbon along the lines. But uh, we got some stuff we need to talk about, guys. Uh, I, this isn't going to be much of a video other than a kind of a just talking point video and kind of let you guys know what's going down. I'm trying to be pretty transparent in my life and let you guys know what's going on in my life and the struggles that I'm going through and the things that I'm trying to overcome. And uh, the one I'm about to talk to you guys about is a pretty big one and I feel like I should just go ahead and let you guys know about it. So YouTube guys, uh, in, in one word or one sentence to describe YouTube, it's tough but rewarding but riskful. You guys are not dummies. Most of you guys know what's going on with YouTube, the whole uh, just YouTube in general thing type thing. Now I'm not about to give you guys a cry sob story. This is not the goal of this, so please don't look at me as a YouTuber that's doing that. This is not the intention of this video. YouTube is getting rough. It's getting very patchy, specifically my channel. You know, some of it could be resulted in my fault, not making my videos interesting enough, not doing enough things to make interesting content for you guys. It makes sense. That's completely understandable, and that's my fault as a content creator. I'm not not going to put that on YouTube that is my fault as not being able to get uh, content that everybody wants to watch that is entertaining that is you know gonna keep you coming to the channel and I get that and I totally respect and understand that so, to kind of give you up to speed of what's going on obviously my channel slowed down a lot um, you know I'm still putting out the videos that I have always put out you know Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday views and subs have slowed down tremendously like I said my fault and we're gonna try to work on some things to get back at that However, before we do that, I have to address some situations that I am ready to take as a person that is financially um, not stupid. I don't want to say good, just not stupid. You guys know I have a Lotus in a truck, and uh, I, if you've been on Twitch before, if you haven't, you should definitely get over there. It supports me a lot. I have talked about if there ever was a situation where I had to sell my truck and or my Lotus I would probably sell my truck. When December comes around, I'll basically know what's going on, but I am looking into selling my truck uh, for multiple reasons. Money would save me about $600 a month, uh, which would tremendously help me if the way my YouTube channel is going continues, I will definitely need some type of financial help, and that would be in selling my truck. Number two, my truck is not very logical. I love my truck, don't get me wrong. However, Amber needs to start driving, get her license, and all this other fun stuff. Uh, she didn't get the chance to get her license when she was younger because her she was an only child with her mom, and uh, her mom works five days a week trying to support her. She never got the opportunity to really get her license. So I kind of want to give her that opportunity and unfortunately that opportunity isn't accessible with my truck. The truck is too big of a vehicle and I could never ask her to try to drive that and put gas in there. So the, the overall plan is to sell my truck and after I sell my truck, uh, take whatever money I got out of that because I have the truck almost halfway paid off. Then get something like a little Civic for her or a little uh, a Corolla or or Sonata or something just, just a tiny little car. However. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna work my ass off and that's what I'm gonna do. You know, a lot of YouTubers will get in this situation and they'll set up a Patreon or they'll set up some type of way for you guys to give money or, or any of those type of lines and I'm not doing it. My whole thing with YouTube is if I am not getting anywhere with YouTube and I've gone dormant and I start to lose money, that's my fault for not making content that you guys want to click on and watch. It's not YouTube's fault, that's not your fault, that's no one's fault but mine. That just means I didn't work hard enough. So if I lose the dream of, you know, riding motorcycles, driving a Lotus and making vlogs for a living, 
That's my fault for not working hard enough. I'm never gonna ask you guys to sign up for Patreon or any of that other stuff. If you really wanted to support me monetarily, you would simply watch a video, and or if you wanted to go over to Twitch, you could subscribe on Twitch, because that supports me a shit ton. However, like I said, it's not, that's not something I am I'm looking to do. Now I know there'll be there's comments that are like, oh yummy, you're gonna have to get a job or you should go get a job or do this and that. That's not out of the question. Now if I got a job, it would definitely uh, it would definitely affect how much I could upload uh, and it would affect how much time I would have for things because I'm also a full time college student. However, again, that's what I'll have to do if I have to do it. So honestly, this video is not really a video of you know sitting here like probably most of you think uh, like a money grab and. Oh, give me money and uh... It's not that. It is simply, I'm telling you what my life is happening right now, what's going on financially, what's going on through my head, what's going on with the channel, what what is mentally happening right now with me. You can see I'm not completely down or anything like that. Obviously, it's demoralizing, uh, but I it strives me to want to work harder at what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work hard. Some of you guys are going to view this video in the wrong way, which is completely understandable because, well, welcome to YouTube. However, I'm going to start working my ass off even more and more and trying to get content out that you guys like uh, and, and content that you guys want to watch. And when you see it get uploaded, that's what you guys watch. Hopefully it doesn't come down to selling my truck, but obviously if it does get to that case, I will let you guys know because you guys will have first grabs on the truck. Anyways, guys, sorry about a kind of short video today. This was more of kind of an update video letting you know what's going on in my life. We'll most likely have a dual vlog out Wednesday. I'm not sure. It'll either be just a regular vlog, but it might be a dual vlog with Chase Wednesday. I have to check my footage and see if we actually have footage for it. And now Friday will be on Friday. I move on Saturday, guys. I am moving on Saturday uh, September 2nd so I will be out of this place into the new place so there will be a video on Monday or Sunday I'm not sure yet about the moving process you guys will see the whole thing go down uh, I'll do a house tour of the new house I'm sure you guys are really gonna want that we'll see how the good girls all of you guys face it so much thank you for so much for watching my videos for staying here for still watching it no matter how low things get you watching this video right now you are the reason I'm able to keep doing what I'm doing and keep doing what I love and I am nobody without you so I really appreciate you guys uh, yeah, supporting me through the bumpy times a lot of you guys have been here through the high highs and uh, we're gonna see who kind of sticks around when we get to our low lows and uh, hopefully eventually jump back up to those highs I love you guys thank you so much for watching the video deuces or wait maybe I should do my goodbye thing goodbye